Hello. Hello. So last year we tried to make a paper mache pumpkin house <laughs> for Halloween. And as you can see, it wasn't very good. <laughs> <laughs> so this year we decided that we would buy a paper mache pumpkin and then just do the inside and bits ourselves. Yes. And we decided instead of a house we would do a picnic in a pumpkin. <laughs> So we hope you enjoy and let's see how this goes. Maybe. It's got a big yeah. bulbous yeah. here, so that's probably the side we cut, isn't it? So there's a hole to start with. It's also really nice because the shop we bought this from, it's all the it's like company newsletters that's been used to make the paper mache pumpkin. Is our pumpkin cave. Cave. So now we need to paint George. The orange. Yeah. Pumpkin coloured. Like a pumpkin colour actually. It is, yeah. Shiny pumpkin, mm. magical pumpkin. The inside of a pumpkin is a different colour to the outside. Yes, it is. Oh, you do, don't you? Pumpkin, and an, an example we were using is the one we grew this year. It was it's supposed to be tiny. Yeah, so <laughs> Peter Jack B. Jack B. Little. Pumpkin. So uh, yeah, I think it just needs some highlights now. Maybe yeah. some lighter patches. Yeah. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Let's make some tiny food. Mushrooms. Yeah. Um, this one. <laughs> Have I finished? I think. I want to put some blackberries in. How do you make mushrooms? I kind of need a picture of a mushroom, don't I? I mean, I know what mushrooms look like, but we're we going for a specific mushroom. A generic, not a not a spotty one because they're poisonous. You wouldn't want to mm -hmm. be eating them. But it's just you know what looks like that, it's like a stalk and a top. Here, give me a bit. Where are all our sculpting tools? <laughs>
Um, we found these leaves when we go out looking for treasures on beaches and we pick up bits of plastic and sometimes those bits of plastic come in handy. Fray. Yeah, I think so. Nice. Oh, it's cute. <laughs> cute. Then I'm going to use this fabric to line. Do we want different coloured checks in the baskets or all the same? I don't know. That's for mushrooms, yeah. We need one for. Because we have other things. We have lots of pasties and pies. Mm hmm. The lovely fairy acorn made us. Lots of bread. go together just behind the scenes we just pile things up all the baskets <laughs> remarkably it all goes quite well though mm. but I don't know which tea set to have I think the cherries yeah I like the cherries the, the, the little dot of bread goes in the yeah. little dot of bread and the green goes yeah it's like we planned it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this be the bread basket? Because we have got a lot of bread. Yeah, we could put other stuff in it too. It could be like a almost like a charcuterie this board. That one's too big. I think that bread's <laughs> too big, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's too big. It's good bread. It is good bread. 
Bread basket coffee, sir. This is um this is very ambitious. <laughs> this is incredibly ambitious. The shell might be a bit <laughs> having big thought about it. Yeah. Maybe it's just a worm. I'm making a snail. <laughs> a worm? Oh, I suppose it's got rings on it. Um Also worms don't really have faces. Slug. <laughs> <laughs> sort of slug another time. It might turn into a slug. We'll see how it goes. At the moment, let's see. This is how this is how we've done everything ever. Yeah. Yep. So, you know, I'm not thinking it's going to convince anyone. It's not going to be hyper realistic. Although I'd love it to be. I just don't think I'm capable of that. So, it's also going to be quite we're small. Not hyper realistic people, no. <laughs> Where's all this scope? tools. It's funny, you think you know what a snail shell looks like, and then you look. Yeah, it's got that little pointy bit, hasn't it? They're, they're not even remotely round. So this is a real trust the process. So I um, actually just sort of did a twirl, did a swirl. That is better. Oh, is it? Is it snail shaped? It's snail shaped. Mm. It's a head. Right, let me let me see if it, how it looks with a head. a head. And then also I've got to put a hat on. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I've got to um score the shell all the way around. But no hat. No hat. I would love to be able to make really realistic snails and then I just make loads and leave them all over the house like on the we walls and stuff them. cartoon snail. I don't want him to be a cartoon snail. I want him to be a realistic snail. Well, probably not as long as that then. <laughs> I'm hoping once he's not beige it'll look better. He's just one-sided snail. <laughs> yes! <laughs> 
Yes, he is. This was always going to be the hardest bit, wasn't it? That was cool. Yeah, now I have to make it again. <laughs> he actually needs two. Oh, uh, sorry, four. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Bubbles. Right, let's keep this side. <laughs> I need... I am. I need more hands. How long are the ones at the front? Pretty short. He's going to be so delicate. He's going to be so delicate. But that's okay, we'll put him in a box. I'm hoping that once it's painted, like it'll look it looks like a snake. better. Scoring. Yeah, now, please excuse me. Okay, so I've scored the shell, and now I'm going to see if I can add... Oh, the texture I need to the snail body with tape. Watch me destroy it all. No. <laughs> Let's do his, his tail first. How do I? That's not working. <laughs> uh, you just um, what was it? This lumpy. Isn't it? Well, it's sort of smoothie lumpy. <gasps> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm making him more like he's upright. Upright. I mean, snail's heads are all different. Yeah. He could do, so Likes he's like he's onto something. Or oh, climbing up something. I don't know why he's climbing up. But onto like a stool. Like that's how he's. Oh, Apple. We don't do... have a stool. What about. Oh! Ah, oh, flower pot. Does that look like a snail that's just climbed up to join her for a... It does. Okay. very cute. I will say, surprisingly, I mean, his, his, his shell's not very uniform shaped, but I'm actually kind of chuffed at that. Obviously, I've got to paint him, and he needs texture, but I will say, that's not too bad for never having sculpted snail. a snail before. Oh, it's so textured, their skin. It's like a, at the end of a paintbrush, like bop, 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 bop. Yeah, it's so... It's you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know what you meant, but... <laughs> I was doing look, the like, hand action at the same time. Like, look at it. So I just added the little sort of edge of the foot. And now I'm going to go cook him.
good. <laughs> I'm quite, again, I'm, I'm surprising myself. So body-wise, I'm going to paint him very slightly green to start with. we grew in our allotment this year. So this is a pumpkin doll that we made to go in the other paper mache pumpkin. Make, yeah, that we made last year, originally planning to put her and the other doll in the paper mache pumpkin. But there is a film of us making her down below in the description and I remember being quite chuffed with her. She looks very good. <laughs> the bit of egg. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I think that. I mean, it's a bit of a random idea. Yeah. <laughs> a bit, it, it, it was because it's sort of like a cave. There's a mm. pumpkin cave, and you may go for a picnic in a cave, although, again, that's quite a random thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> but it's already given us an idea for potentially doing a James and the Giant Peach yes. thing. Especially yes. seeing as if I try, I seem to be able to make small animals. Am I <laughs> convincing bugs and insects? Well, yeah, I think the picnic looks really cute. I think the little, you know, the gathered stuff, Yeah. I think, looks really cute. I don't think we ever mentioned it was supposed to be stuff they'd gathered for the picnic. Oh. <laughs> like yeah, she, she, was, she was foraging. <laughs> yeah, mushrooms, berries, hazelnuts, and strawberries. All gatherable at completely different times of the year. <laughs> yeah, but they're, they're having a picnic in a pumpkin, so yeah. the reality is slightly... Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm very, I think it looks very cute, very happy with it. Yeah. And it does make me want to make a calendar. <laughs> and that picture yeah. would be... Because it's not permanent, October. this picnic, is it? It's no. good, well, it's a picnic. Picnics mm. are never permanent. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's deep. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you. I mean, a massive thank you to everyone that has subscribed recently. Oh, yeah, we got to 20,000. We got to 20,000. We're actually on 21,000. Yes. So thank you so much. We do have a big video planned for reaching 20,000, but it's going to take a while. Yeah, to and make. we're on a boat at the moment. Yes, we are. I don't know if you could hear the <laughs> engine. So, yeah, thank you so much, everyone. Thanks for all of the comments and likes. Um, if you are enjoying these videos, we're going to be sort of sticking to this video format for a little while because we're really enjoying yeah. it. So if you are enjoying, there is a subscribe button down below and it is free. Don't know what we're making next. Nope, <laughs> that's exciting. <laughs> so we will see you in a week on Tuesday. Yeah. And hope you have a wonderful week between that. And we will see you soon. Bye. Bye.